Hi! Welcome to Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19, day number 240. Or technically day number 40 of season 2. Day number 40 of season 2, thank you so much. My name is Don Bowyer. I am the Dean of the School of Arts at Sunway University, which you can sort of see over there under the dark clouds that we're trying to beat. We want to get inside before they open up. I think we're good. Um, Sunway University, which is in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, actually in Sunway City, a uh, part of the Kuala Lumpur metropolitan area, but it's its own little green city. In fact, the greenest city in all of, of Malaysia, I believe, and maybe in all of Southeast Asia. Um, with, uh, with all of the green construction, the, all of the um, stuff, stuff. Just trust me, I'm a trombone player. But it, it's really on, on the ball here in Sunway City. So, seven, we're on our second conditional movement control order here in Malaysia. Day number 40, in fact. What's that? Almost six weeks. And during that time, I have been playing trombone out here on my rooftop every evening at 7 p.m for five minutes or so, not very long because, you know, some people are trying to sleep. Neighbors, I'm in a condo. So, uh, also I should tell you what I've been doing in this season two is playing trombone as improvised commentary on other art forms. And for the most part, it's been poetry or images. And also for the most part, that poetry or those images have been submitted by people like you in the audience. I hope you will uh, pick up your phone and send me some images or a po your favorite poem uh, or an original poem if you want. Tonight we're going to do someone's favorite poem and as I've done for the last week now on the Poetry Night, I have convinced uh, the lovely and the talented Donna Lamb, my wife, uh, she lives here with me so we're not breaking any rules, uh, to uh, to come on and read the poetry. She's not as confident uh, about the weather as I am. Um, I'm just a girl that likes to be safe, not sorry. Anyway, today's poem... <laughs> today's poem was submitted by uh, the provost at my university, so we have to do it well or he's going to fire me. Um, his name is Peter Hurd, and... Um, Donna can introduce the poem. Yeah, a very important poem by Emily Dickinson. A very serious poem. A man may make a remark, in itself a quiet thing, that may furnish the fuse unto a spark in dormant nature lane. <laughs> Let us divide with skill. Let us discourse with care. Powder exists in charcoal before it exists in fire. Thank you for being here tonight. Uh, thank you, Peter Hurd, for submitting that Emily Dickinson poem. Wonderful, very short poem. I know it was a short program tonight. But you know, on nights like this, when the sky is about to open up, we need short programs. So, again, thank you for being here. Please, tell me, send me an email at this address. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pointing the wrong direction. At this address, rooftoptrombone at gmail.com. Just, just do it right now before you forget. Send me the name of your favorite poem. You don't even have to go look for the poem. I'll, I, I have Google here. We, we have all the comforts of home. Um, I'll go look it up. I'll find the poem. And if it's public domain, I'll use it. Or if you are a poet yourself and have written the poem, send me that. It doesn't have to be public domain if you give me permission to use it. And finally, you have a ton of pictures on your camera roll. Send me a dozen of them. Um, that would be great. We're going to do some more pictures tomorrow night. Thanks so much for...
tuning in, as they say, and uh, we'll say, and say goodbye to the lovely and talented Donna Lamb. Thanks for being here. I enjoyed the poem. Thanks.